Uh, you know, the president um, has broad declassification authority when he is in office, but typically a declassification is memorialized in some way. Um, can you seek out the answer to the question of whether there actually is record of whether Donald Trump declassified that? That's his defense here, that anything he had, he had already declassified. Uh, yes, uh, we should determine, uh, you know, whether there was any effort uh, during the presidency to go through the process of declassification. I've seen no evidence of that, nor have they presented any evidence of that. Uh, the idea, first of all, a former president has no declassification authority. Right. And the idea that 18 months after the fact, Donald could Trump, Trump could simply announce, well, I'm, you know, uh, retroactively declassifying or whatever I took home had the effect of declassifying them uh, is absurd. Uh, but nonetheless, the statutes the Justice Department are uh, asserting in the search warrant uh, don't even require that they still be classified. If they would be damaging to national security, it's a problem. It's a major problem. Uh, and, you know, finally, I'd like to add the, the reaction of many of my Republican colleagues. Uh, and, and those around the former president to attack the FBI over this uh, and endanger FBI agents uh, mm -hmm. is just another uh, uh, damaging level of irresponsibility. Also